please like and subscribe for our channel growth. President Trump, tell terror supporting Qatar it can kiss our US air base goodbye. The tiny Persian Gulf nation of Qatar one of the wealthiest countries in the world on a per capita basis, thanks to enormous oil and natural gas reserves has become one of the most harmful influences in the Middle East and a key supporter of terrorist groups. No one expects Qatar to launch a military attack of its own on any country. Located on a peninsula jutting out of Saudi Arabia, it is slightly smaller than Connecticut and has a population of only about 2.3 million. But Qatar is endangering America's Arab allies and our ally Israel by bankrolling terrorists, inciting violence and hatred through its state-funded Al Jazeera TV network, and collaborating with the far more powerful and virulently anti-American Islamic Republic of Iran. Because Qatar poses such a danger to the region, Saudi Arabia and its Persian Gulf allies have blockaded the country since June. They have closed Qatar's border with Saudi Arabia and prevented many planes and cargo ships from landing and docking in Qatar. Bizarrely, the United States maintains a military base in Qatar so we can fight against Muslim extremists. But at the same time, the Qataris are providing support to Muslim extremists fighting against America's allies in the region. Unfortunately, the Trump administration, like the Obama administration, prefers to look the other way at Qatar's dangerous behavior. This is because the U.S. Central Command operates the al Udiyat Air Base in Qatar. The base houses some 10,000 U.S., British and other Allied troops. It plays a key role in American air operations in war-torn Iraq, Syria, and Afghanistan. Rather than using the base as an excuse for inaction against Qatar, we should be using it to leverage changes in Qatari behavior. The Trump administration needs to make clear to Qatar that its current conduct is unacceptable and will not be tolerated by the United States. President Trump previously expressed support for the Saudi position that Qatar end its support for terrorists shut down Al Jazeera and sever ties with Iran. To protect our interests and the security of our allies, he should now threaten to move our military base if the Qataris do not do these things. Moving our base would be costly, but we did it before when the Saudis asked us to leave. Now that we're on better terms with the Saudis, they might even welcome us back. Better still, the Qataris could accede to our demands and benefit from ending their isolation and allying with those opposing terrorism and the Iranian menace.